Donald Trump turned 77 on Wednesday. Happy birthday, Mr. Trump. I hope it's your last <clears throat> uh, one not spent behind bars. I got something stuck in my throat. <clears> throat> Trump reportedly spent his birthday at his Bedminster, New Jersey golf course playing golf, surrounded by friends and family who secretly wish he'd go to prison already so they can get on with the rest of their lives. There are reports that since his arraignment on Tuesday, Donald Trump has raised an additional $2 million from his supporters. One of Donald Trump's biggest supporters is Sarah Palin, who was on Newsmax because Fox doesn't want her anymore. And she was asked on Wednesday whether or not MAGA Trump supporters were part of some cult. I was with the Trump motorcade yesterday, and I would say that the people at Versailles at the Cuban restaurant, I wouldn't call them cult members, would you? Uh, no, you know, the definition of a cult is uh, a, a group of people who are um, excessively supporting one another and a cause all about conformity and compliance and intolerance of anyone who doesn't agree with what their mission is. Right. Of course. Of course, there, there's one word that best describes a Trump supporter. It's tolerance. Trump supporters have an amazing tolerance for bullshit. Well, Tuesday night after his arraignment in Florida, Trump flew back, as I said, to New Jersey and delivered a searing indictment of the Biden Justice Department. The only news network to carry his speech was Fox News. And at one point, Fox News ran a split screen of Trump and Biden speaking at the same time with a lower third that read wannabe dictator speaks at the White House after having his political rival arrested. This was at 8.59 p.m. Eastern Tuesday night on Fox News primetime wannabe dictator. That would be Joe Biden speaks at the White House after having his political rival arrested Fox News, we report you take arms against your government. Eileen Cannon is the Florida judge who will preside over Donald Trump's trial, the trial uh, down in Miami that he's been indicted for mishandling government documents. The New York Times reported on Wednesday that Judge Cannon might be in over her head. Age 42, Cannon, a Trump appointee, has only been sitting on the bench since November of 2020. This is a lifetime appointment for someone who has never worked as a judge before and has had little to no experience presiding over a criminal trial. In fact, the New York Times reports that she has only presided over four trials for a grand total of 14 days. And all four of those trials were not complicated. Judge Cannon, if you remember, early on in this case, attempted to short circuit the FBI's search of Mar-a-Lago by suggesting that Donald Trump had special protections as a former president. An appeals court later overruled her decision. Yesterday, I reported on the mayor of Florida, Francis Suarez. He's the Republican who is thinking of running for his party's presidential nomination. If you remember, I explained that Mayor Suarez is under investigation by both the FBI and the SEC for accepting $10,000 a month from a Southern Florida real estate developer. I didn't know that you could be the mayor of Miami and take $10,000 a month from a real estate developer or from anybody. I said that he's running for president as an insurance policy so that he could claim the prosecutions are politically motivated, something he learned from Donald Trump, right? If the FBI and the SEC is investigating you, run for president. Well, he must be guilty because on Wednesday, the mayor of Florida, Mayor Suarez, made it official he's running for president for his get-out-of-jail-free card.